डिनर मनिक सीएम मेमोरियल हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल अपर नोंखमाई ने 30 मई को स्कूल परिसर के अंदर बाजरे की अंतर्राष्ट्रीय वर्ष को मनाने के लिए एक कार्यक्रम की मेजबानी की इस कार्यक्रम का उद्देश्य बाजरा उत्पादन और उपयोगों पर ध्यान केंद्रित करना है गतिविधियों बातचीत और खेलों की एक श्रृंखला जहां कार्यक्रम के मुख्य आकर्षण बना रहा संयुक्त राष्ट्र 2023 को अंतर्राष्ट्रीय बाजरा वर्ष के रूप में मना रहा है इस तरह के समरण उत्सव कम ज्ञात विषयों पर ध्यान आकर्षित करते हैं इस मामले में फसलें वे विचारें अनुसंधान और विकास के साथ साथ प्लास्टर व्यापार की वैश्विक आदान प्रदान को भी बढ़ावा देती है Those places um, near Nong Thong. I can get you the actual names of the villages. Do you mind? You can ask that. As you know, it's the International Year of the Millet, 2023, and we're trying to encourage people to switch to a healthier diet of millet. Um, since it's more nutritious, it's almost a superfood. It's also grown locally, so it has a lot of benefits. And um, we source the millet locally. We make biscuits, bread, cookies. Cupcakes, brownies. Right now, we're making pancakes um, and millet milkshake. So we're trying more. We're trying to experiment with more and more products to get the mainstream market. And we hope that you guys like millet as well. Actually, to grow it, it's supposed to be cheaper, but because not many people consume millet on a regular basis, it has become more expensive to grow it. Um, like less our um, return on investment, right? So most farmers opt not to grow millet, which is why it's more expensive now. But technically, it's easier to grow. It's more durable and and more nutritious. You can do so many things with millet. So that's the reason why it's more expensive than flour. So I think the idea of this program also is to make great awareness on the value of millet, the availability of millet in the state, and we should be proud because. Meghalaya produces enough millet for our children and for future generations. We just need to keep encouraging the farmers to cultivate millet again because they see that we are going to white rice and white rice is one of the worst things that we can be eating on this planet. So I would encourage all the teachers, all the, the school and I'm very very grateful that Dinit Manik CM High Secondary School has provided us this platform. This is the fifth of its kind, and we are planning to reach out to another 50 to 60 schools and colleges and universities in Meghalaya. We really need your support to promote healthier snacking alternatives, because what we eat today forms the foundation of who we become tomorrow. While schools provide the intelligence quotient, we provide the HQ, the health quotient, and we provide what goes in here so that what is here grows stronger and bigger and better. It's made of millet and then we added so many ingredients. I've made pancakes before but it was of flour. This is of millet and different ingredients and it's so exciting to make it here. So I'm not even leaving the stock. It's really good. It's quite different. I've never tasted millet. So it's quite different. When we had the first one, it was like, I find it very dry. When we had the second one, oh very good. When I got the sweet potion, it was like very yummy. <laughs> this is the international year of millets. And then these are very nutritious and very good for health. If, if not mistaken, I've heard that if we can if we have on a regular diet, it's very good for our uh, what is that called? For our metabolism. So you know I'm very happy that today's uh, program is really a grand one. I'm very happy, especially those people from the in, because it's an international day, Millet Day. So I'm very happy that they are coming to 
what to say to spread the message that millet is very very important, especially for good health, especially for the children. Because many children nowadays are malnutrition. Malnutrition you know, nowadays, they are very weak and they cannot uh, concentrate in studies. But I'm very happy that they are coming. So they spread the message that it is very important, especially for the parents and the children, so that they will become healthy and strong, especially in studies. If they have good health, that means they will be good also in studies.